A couple of weeks ago, I went to a local used bookstore which had recently reopened after the COVID quarantine. I was looking for inspiration for a cheap and interesting art book. A book stood out because of its high saturation and its simplicity. It was surrounded by other works by artists I'm more familiar with, so I didn't give the blue book a whole lot of attention. But while I was browsing, those two piercing yellow eyes kept staring at me. They wouldn't leave me alone. They were staring into my soul. So without looking into it much further, I bought it. This was the beginning of my experience with the blue dog. Home with it, I finally took it out of its sleeve to reveal the mysterious staring blue dog. And there it was, Tiffany in all her glory. Indeed, the blue dog had a name, and not only did she have a name, Tiffany actually existed. She belonged to a Louisiana Cajun artist, George Rodrigue. Rodrigue began making a name for himself in the art world for his portraits and his bayou landscapes, and in 1984, he was commissioned to illustrate a book on Cajun mythology. Very briefly, for those unfamiliar with the Cajun people and culture, Cajuns are descendants from the French settlers in Acadia. Cajun is another way to pronounce Acadian. After being conquered by the British at the beginning of the 18th century, they were deported and spread throughout the British colony's territory as a way to destroy Acadian culture and have Acadians assimilate to the British Empire. This event was called the Great Deportation. Some Acadians finally found their way to Louisiana along the Mississippi River after their deportation and have fought since then to maintain and conserve Acadian culture. Rodrigue, through his art, continued this battle. Back to Rodrigue's commissioned illustrations depicting Cajun mythology. Of course, as you would expect, Cajun mythology is heavily influenced by French culture and Tiffany was a representation of the French and Cajun myth of the loup-garou, the werewolf. So Tiffany, the small, harmless dog, found herself being represented as a vicious and violent mythological creature, but that's not really what she looks like. Rodrigue didn't paint a werewolf as he had planned. He painted the ghost of his dead dog. In his book, Rodrigue first describes the strong bond he had with his dog and how sad he was when she passed away. But the book takes a spiritual turn as Rodrigue gives Tiffany a voice. The book is a dialogue between Rodrigue and his dog. Throughout this dialogue, we understand that Tiffany's ghost tried to reach out to Rodrigue and that Rodrigue's only way to understand the feeling of having the ghost of a dog reach out to you was to paint. He first started painting the blue dog in terrifying scenes and situations. There's, for example, Dancing on My Grave made in 1991 or Tiffany Moon made in 1992. Rodrigue saw the reappearance of Tiffany in his soul as a haunting presence. But he'd later embrace her and paint the blue dog absolutely everywhere, for every time he'd paint Tiffany, he'd become closer to her mystical presence, making her part of our own world by proliferating her icon. Rodrigue, by painting an old Cajun myth, created his own personal myth. He built a complete story with himself and his dog as characters. The mystical conversation between the two, their bond, their love, is really the driving force of this story, of this myth. Like any myth, there is storytelling, there is mysticism, and there is subjective interpretation. Myths can speak to us differently, as do paintings, and the blue dog is no exception. What do these yellow eyes say to you? Is the stare making you doubt? Is it making you curious? Do you feel like you're gazing into an abyss and that this abyss gazes back into you? You may develop your own answers and maybe these eyes have no effect on you at all. For me, the blue dog had a very strong presence and my relationship to it is, I believe, 
best described by a quote from George Rodrigue. The yellow eyes are really the soul of the dog. He has this piercing stare. People say the dog keeps talking to them with the eyes, always saying something different. People who have seen a blue dog painting always remember it. They are really about life, about mankind searching for answers. The dog never changes position. He just stares at you. And you're looking at him, looking for some answers. Why are we here? And he's just looking back at you, wondering the same. The dog doesn't know. You can see this longing in his eyes, this longing for love. Answers. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if the blue dog and its eyes sparked a reaction or an idea, please share it in the comments. I'm super curious to know what you think. And as always, I'd like to thank all of the Canvas's patrons for the support. If you also want to support the channel, check out patreon.com forward slash the